with diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life. This wondrous planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidence, which pinpoint the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegan and practice sustainable living. We invite you to listen to a compilation of excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures entitled The Best Way to Restore the Biodiversity of Our Planet. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. What effect does uh, meat consumption have on uh, biodiversity? Charlie, meat consumption has a huge destructive impact on biodiversity, which is essential for our Earth to function and thus must be preserved. No matter how small each species has a role to help balance our ecosystem, scientifically proven. And yet, consumption of both fish and animal flesh continue and are wreaking havoc on biodiversity around the globe. In the oceans and fresh waterways, so many species of fish have already been lost. With complete aquatic environments, such as coral reefs, being decimated by such practices as trawling and fishing with explosives. Uh, on land, meat consumption is responsible for vast regions being clear for grazing crops, such as soy that are fed to livestock. One example is seen in the deforested Amazon areas that uh, have gone from lush forests to bare fields used for cattle grazing or primarily animal feed crops, with these activities essentially robbing our biodiversity, there has been an alarming rise in the disappearance of plants and animals. 2005 Millennium Ecosystem Assessment Report noted that uh, some 30% of the mammal, bird and amphibians species currently are threatened with extinction or due to human actions. And one of the most comprehensive studies ever conducted in the field is now forecasting that uh, over a million species will be lost in the coming 50 years. Isn't that a sad affair? Mm. Besides the land being clear for livestock raising, the livestock itself causes further biodiversity loss due to potent greenhouse gas emissions which accelerate global warming. Uh, many studies have documented a decline in populations of penguins, polar bears, plants, trees, migratory birds and many others, all linked to rising temperatures on the planet. 
even desert animals have been affected, like the Malian elephant that have been uh, perishing in high numbers because their trunks can no longer reach the sinking groundwater. The answer to all this, you know, is quite clear. Stop the meat consumption. Stop it yesterday. This will eliminate the so-called need for livestock raising, which will uh, immediately return immense amounts of land to natural sustainability or to natural growing methods that allow biodiversity to be replenished. This is the way we need to go, and fast. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization said that the livestock industry is the major cause of the most pressing world problems, namely global warming, land degradation, air and water pollution, and loss of biodiversity. Can you believe this? It's like that. For example, global warming with no animal breeding industry we immediately stop the number one cause of greenhouse gases emissions. Not just CO2, not just carbon dioxide, but also methane, nitrous oxide, black carbon from burning down the trees for the livestock, and also toxic gases like hydrogen sulfide. This kind of gas, even you just breathe once, you die immediately if it is strong enough concentration. Some of them are much more potent than CO2, like nitrous oxide. The livestock sector is the number one source of nitrous oxide emissions, and it is almost 300 times more heat trapping than the CO2 over a 100 year period. Now, methane and black carbon are what scientists call short-lived gases, Meaning, although they are very potent, climate warmers, they dissipate and exit the atmosphere very quickly. And it's not just the global warming we are talking about. If we are vegan, we don't have to worry about avian flu, which was found in 22 out of 33 provinces in Indonesia alone. Yes? and has caused millions of poultry deaths and caused many human fertilities in Indonesia. More human deaths in your country than in any other country due to the deadly form of avian flu. If we are vegan, Indonesia's coral reefs, known as the Amazon of the seas, for its thousands of marine species, will be left in peace and beauty and it will protect us. The coral reef is a protector of our lives, of the sea. Right now, it is in danger, the coral reef, due to overfishing, which includes a destructive form that uses gruesome methods like cyanic poisoning and blasting the fish with bombs and dynamites. My God.